Okay, so today I am going to be installing a second glove box on my 350Z. Now you're probably wondering, why the fuck would you want to install a second glove box? Well, in my case, I like to carry tools in the trunk, in the hatch. But, um, they end up flying around too much in the back. So, I went to the junkyard and picked up some random pieces. Pretty damn cheap, along with the glove box. So I figured I might as well just install a second one. So uh, this is what you're going to need, um, the glove box, obviously, this one, this little locking pin mechanism with the bolts, make sure you grab the bolts too, very important. Your little secret cover that pops in and out somehow. And the door obviously I just took the whole panel because it was easier to take off and it came with all this other shit in the back too alright so first thing I'm going to do is take this pin out right there you can see it with a pair of pliers and then I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get this thing to work I'll probably end up cutting this part right here just to string it's the one that lowers the door slower gives it a little bit of assistance I guess I don't really need it if you guys can figure out a way then you guys can figure it out I guess but I'm just gonna cut cut the string there and take that pin out All right, so we're inside the car now. Now we're gonna end up be end up taking up, taking out this big, big panel right here, just like the one in the junkyard. Now this trim comes out and just and pop out on it. And we got that. I'm replacing this one too, so this one's all fucked up. That one comes out. This panel pops out. Um, you're gonna undo that one Phillips. You're gonna be one on the other side too. That's you don't gotta take the whole center console out, but just have it loose so you can take this flip this panel out. So that Phillips, the other side, same thing on the other side, this panel here, and this little trim right here. And then this big old piece should just slide up. All right, so real quick, this is where I'm at. This panel comes off, this panel comes off. Take it out all the way, do yourself a favor. Just take it all the way out, a couple clips, nothing to it. Just pull on it, both sides. As for this giant panel, same thing, it's just clips. Pull on it, obviously with some common sense, evenly, don't try to break shit. And then it should just all come out as one big ass fucking piece together. Oh yeah, don't forget to unplug your power port. Now we're gonna end up taking all these tens out for I'm guessing some kind of track edition came with a big old sub in the bag or something. I don't know. Mine's a base model so I didn't come, mine didn't come with any of that stuff. So take all these tens out and uh, we'll see what happens after that. If anything, you guys learn how to take off, get to your rear stub, I guess. All right, so once you take all the tens out, this um, sub panel holder, my bobber comes out and then you're left with a big ass fucking hole in the back of your 350Z, which is actually Pretty fucking dirty back here, so I might just blow it all out before I put the box in. But from there, you go and grab your glove box that you got from a junkyard or whatever. And then, when you look at that, oh, you must do it in. 
Japan with the right hand drive Z's out there. And then you put that new glove box in and you put you use all the all the 10 millimeter bolts that were holding the sub woofer trim metal bracket. And, uh, that's what you're gonna use to hold this bad boy in place. But I'm gonna I'm gonna air blow this place out. Just because it's really fucking I've never been back here, so it's really dirty back here. So, since I have everything out of the way, I'm gonna just do that real quick. All right, so now the glove box is in. Like I said, you reuse all these tens that you took off previously before. You'll probably have a couple left over. I have like three of them. Yeah, I have like three left over. Um, but it's in there, it's tight. So now we're gonna go to the outside panel. All right, so now this is the one that came in, that I took out of my car. And this is the extra door, glove box door that we took off the junkyard car. So now we have to put that door on this panel before we put it back in. Now the holes that come with it are too small for the pen that we took off earlier before. This one off the glove box door. They are way too small on both sides, but they do have pilot holes. So we're just gonna drill those out until they fit. Now what I did was I, I'm i replacing this trim too, so I just kind of drilled holes of different sizes until I found one that fits so it's good and tight. And this one's probably gonna be it. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna go ahead and drill those holes just out. Make them a little bit bigger. All right, so I went ahead and made those holes bigger for those pins. I mean, some pretty easy shit, I guess. To make them a little bit bigger for the pins. Um, you want to slide the driver side outside side first in, and then put the pin in through the other side on that side. And then you have a door. You put the door on. Then you put that big ass panel in the back of your car now. And now you have two glove boxes for whatever you may use it for. Um, I, I guess somewhat convenient. I'm just gonna end up putting tools back here so they're not flopping around in the hatch anymore. Now when you're out at the junkyard, make sure you grab the plastic panel that goes over this. Um, if you want it, I couldn't find it there. So uh, probably end up getting one somewhere else later eventually and the little latch mechanism make sure you grab those bolts too I couldn't find those neither so I'm probably gonna go down go down the ace hardware or something and pick up some match them up with the other side um but I mean I can do that later so yeah uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff back together but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it first since I'm already back here but I mean, you guys can figure out the rest, I guess. Put in, just pop that big panel on the side and the lower trim and I guess you're good to go.